As a good practice, it's always best to segregate our components in different projects or let's say if they are reusable, we should segregate them into libraries. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We will start off by creating a simple directory. Let's say my app. And inside this my app, I'm going to create a new console based application. Now I will create a library that will be reusable for other projects as well. So I will just uh, search on .NET new, how I can create a library. And let's say this tells me that I can use class lib and uh, that will create a library for me. So let's do that. I'll name it as common. I always forget to use the attribute name. All right. Now at present, my console application does not have any reference to this library. So we can add it by using the .NET add command. I'll have to pass the first project name, which requires the reference, and it should add a reference To which project and that project is common dot common dot CS project. and the reference has been added so we can verify that by going inside this by looking at the CS project of app so as you can see we have a project reference added for common dot CS project Let's open up our directory in Visual Studio Code and uh, do some tweaks and so we'll see how the output comes in. Inside common, we have a class, class one dot one dot CS. I'm going to rename it and let's call it message helper. And this message helper is going to have a public static method which will return a message nothing fancy just a very simple message and I'll say new line new line just to make it a little clean. All right, so I have changed the name. I will copy this and change the name here as well. Now that we have updated our common project, you will have to build it. So let's do that. The build is successful. Let's go back to our app. Now inside app, I can use, I can add a using now, using common. And what I will do is just get a message from message helper dot get message. And I'm gonna pass this message inside my print line. That's it. We have not done something which is very complicated. We have just created a library, added a class to it, add, added a, a static method which returns a simple string. And we are now using that uh, class inside our app. Let's go to the terminal again. Clean this up. Now I want to build my app. So it has built the common library and the app. Now that we have built both our projects, we can now run our app 
by using .NET run and specifying the project as app slash app dot cs proj. This should give us the message that we had configured in our common class. Okay, so we have hello from .NET Core on macOS. So far, we have created a console-based application which is using a common library. And uh, in the next section, we will put everything together and create a solution. A solution is what we generally see in our Visual Studio on Windows. So the solution will be comprising of a common library, a console-based app, a web app, and uh, also the unit test project. We'll see you there.